What is going on, you guys? It is your boy, Ramsey here. Schmitty is right there. We are here with the post thoughts on the latest My Hero episode. And back when uh, we did the reaction, I asked, or I remember to tell you a question. We now know Toga's upgrade that when she turns into people, whether it be fear or not, she's able to use her, that person's quirk. Now, the question is, do you think going especially into the war, do you think that makes her much more of a threat? Yeah. Anyone who has a power upgrade, yeah, it makes them more of a threat. No matter how big or how small, it makes them more of a threat. Mm. Strategically, yeah, anyone who has the capability of just pure infiltration is a huge threat. But now the fact that when they go to, like, test you, you know, you can pass that test now, too. Mm. And so you can take, like, Edith's speed. I mean, shit, the fact that she can, you know double Shigaraki. Like, she not only has the powers of, you know, anyone she can get at 1A, mm. she willingly can use the powers of anyone on the League of Villains, mm. which are already power hitters. Yeah. So imagine, like, using, you know, twice. Yeah. Twice. Twice. Like, you could make a lot of clones. Mm -hmm. Just and even, like, I, I just still don't know, because I, I was thinking about it, and just with the dialogue that she said, maybe it's different in the manga. But what she was saying to be like, wait, with her being feared and scared, was able to activate her upgrade. Well, yeah, she was putting. I mean, that was the same thing with um, Fire Force season two. You know, the Shimura and um, Arthur when they were training training in Asakusa. Uh, for the um, I forgot the exact words but it's like the you know the strength you get when on the verge of death yeah it was right on the yeah it was around like, in the finale it was actually in yeah, the finale and they like you know fucking powered up hard as shit yeah and like it's pretty much the same thing it's mm. the same concept is where you're put in like a life or death situation and you either evolve or die yeah and she evolved and that's pretty much what we're what we're gonna see across the board for the rest of the group you know yeah we haven't seen much on Spinner since the uh, um, the camp. Which I am also saying, I feel like there is more, because obviously they're not going to show everything in my villain, because they're, I mean, they're rushing it. So, is there more of Spinner in the manga, or have you yet to see anything? That's what I thought. Because, um, like, I know people have tell me, like, there's a whole He's kind right. of... Like, there's, I'm, I'm, there's not an arc, but there's a whole kind of section that they did cut off which people have been saying, like, oh, it would have been really exciting to see. I really don't know what it is because I haven't looked into it until I read Volume 25. But I heard that develops more character for Spinner. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, maybe, I mean, I, I don't think we're going to get compressed because we only have, what, like, three episodes left? Because these next three episodes are going to basically be Shigaraki alone. Like, Shigaraki well, is going to be develop. Machina. Oh out. yeah, yeah, and yeah. We'll he woke up get, this episode too. We'll probably too. get one more episode, maybe two, of you know Shigaraki and Redistro, and then Makina shows up. Yeah, and but, the mm, fucking city is level. Yeah, I think because I mean, we all know we're getting the back the real backstory episode animated, no censorship at all next week, which is the best episode in the season. I can't fucking wait for next week. But I, I'm wondering, like, yeah, I think the fight is going to be balanced for the next two episodes, and then I don't know where the finale is going to lead. I don't know what's going to happen. I assume there's going to have a they're going to have a post credit scene. Don't know what it honestly is going to be because you just we don't know where the hell we're going to go. We all know we go, we're going to the war, but it's just how do we what what is going to be that moment? Like, okay, I, I I've been predicting since the beginning, like, oh, they're going to take over the army. That that's my thing. Like, oh, are they going to... I feel like maybe Machia, um, Giganto Machia is going to level, or not level out, but kill basically all the members that they have there, or that the League have so far killed off, but I think it's just going to end up with the League on top and basically running the whole damn army. Whether they get people themselves, like, recruit people throughout the amount of time, because they still have months unless the League want to strikes whenever the hell they want to. But that's that's my prediction. I don't know your prediction, at the end of all this and where do you see the league and like i see the league upgraded as fuck and taking over the army i don't know about you well, yeah it's, it's pretty much you know what i was saying where it's you know all of them are gonna pretty much get a power up from this experience obviously the episode twice was definitely the star of this show um how would you compare the 
stuff that we saw in this episode to the manga. I assume the manga is way better, but it was a lot cooler. A lot cooler. The panels where he was flipping out, getting his ass beat, were like way more intense. Just the way that they were drawn and the, just the dialogue was just, you know, it was pretty much on point. Uh, also, the dialogue with Redestro and Shigaraki, there were some differences there. Yeah, I remember you touching upon that in the reaction. I wonder what was different, but it's just minor. It's just the way they worded some stuff, some sentences were different. It's probably just to fit more of the lip sync. It's like one of the things but that I conveyed the same message. The one of the things that I have an issue with with this arc, and it's not the arc in general because I know Studio Bones and Toho are rushing it, but like the dialogue is just like characters constantly, or like characters from the army constantly reading quick as shit. Like the last episode where she's like reading like a list of what Toga has been through. Like oh, oldest at seventeen. Oh, last seen her graduation. Da 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 da. I'm like. Slow down, please. I know you got five episodes, but please slow down. Because, like, it, it's so much to take in because they're rushing it. And it's such a touchable arc because you're showing backstory to these characters that we have not, like, experienced before. It's like, this is only my personal opinion. I know there's a bunch of different stuff. But I think if the movie wasn't, in, if, the mo if the World Heroes Mission movie would have never existed and they would have never done it, I don't think season five would have been impacted. A like I that. So. It doesn't matter. I still think it would have. I don't think it did. Think would have changed. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest, because it's not canon. Yeah, but still, they're trying. They, I think, yeah. The only okay. The only thing that they did with it is they switched the arcs around. Not only for tone, I get that. Not only for tone, but to literally, they ended the uh, not they ended the Endeavor Agency arc, literally right when the movie came out. So everybody was still riding that high, like, oh man, the arc ended so good, let's go see the movie, and they did that before Villain Academia. That's why they had to add in a filler episode, because they didn't have, they, they didn't, weren't able to go into Villain Academia yet. I mean, there's been a lot of flashbacks, a lot of, obviously, I'd say meaningless filler episodes. Obviously, that episode was obviously canning, or setting up the movie, but... It's just the whole thing. I think a movie was a factor into the season. The season has had its problems, but that's for a bunch of different reasons. I mean, I'm going back and forth whether I prefer season one or season five. Like, going back and forth. I think that's a pretty good debate. Like, oh, which season is kind of better? I know season one is only 13 episodes, but I don't know. I, think it's, I don't know. But I think the last thing I'll touch upon in this, uh, going into the next episode and the next series of episodes, Shigaraki versus Redestro. You have already read, but you, you've seen all the panels. You've seen all the panels of everything. What are your expectations for the animation, knowing it's basically going to show everything with no censorship? What are you looking forward to? I mean, exactly that. No censorship. Like, I, I, I want to see what I read with, you know, the music, with the atmosphere, with the acting. I want to see it all. Mm. And I want to see it all played out. We saw a little bit of Redestro's quirk. It's something, like, I don't have a Expansion correct term for it. Like, I don't have a correct term for it. Do you, I feel like you know his quirk because you've read no. the panels. No? You don't? Somewhat. They haven't gotten into it? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Somewhat. Somewhat. Because, like, just... If they did, I, I fucking passed over it. But it... it somewhat. It's like, understand. it looks pretty simple to look at. But I feel like there's more about it. There's a lot more to it. Because, like, he, he looks cool with it. He looks cool with his quirks. So I'm just wondering how the hell he's going to do it. But that's basically it. We are excited for the next couple episodes. Literally the last three episodes of Season 5. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys are excited for the rest, like, subscribe, comment down below. And as always, Omzi, Schmitty, and we are out.